Welcome back to Great Day Houston, everybody. Our next guest knows how to throw a great party, and today we're throwing it back to the 1950s with a sock hop that's sure to razz your berries. Here with some ideas for the coolest party that every hip cat in town will be talking about is Lynn Wilson, the author of At Ease, A Salute to Creative Entertaining. Good morning. Good morning. I always love your ideas, which a lot of them are right here in this book, but for those people who aren't familiar with you or the book, uh, this goes back to your days of entertaining as a military wife. It does. We were in the Army for 38 years and did a lot of entertaining, and when we retired, I thought, I want to keep that going. I want to show people that it's fun to entertain. It's not hard. It doesn't have to be expensive, so I put together this book with 24 yeah different parties in it. And I love this because today people will admit that they don't even know their next door neighbors. I know being a military brat myself, we were always moving. So it was really important to connect as quickly as you could wherever you moved to, at least for a little while, right? Exactly. And that's what entertaining does, brings people together. It does, and it doesn't have to be hard, and it can be so much fun. Yeah. All right. Every good uh, party starts with the invitation, which gives <laughs> you the idea of what's about to happen. I love what you did here for your invitation. Well, it's a sock hop. Yeah. Right? So you put your invitation in a sock, and here's my my cute little invitation, just in, oops, I'm yep, there you inviting go. them to a sock hop. Yeah, make sure it's a clean sock, people. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but it gets, you know, your invitation gets people excited about the party before your party even begins. Yeah. So I think it's a very important to have a cute invitation. And then, of course, you can also do your invitation on a record and just change the sticker on there and put, like, the, you know, what went, why, where, when, and all that type of stuff on there. And that's kind of a cool idea, too. I love that idea. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, every good party has what? Great food. Exactly. Okay. Very yeah. Important. So we're going to take it back to the 50s. We are. And you know what? I just, when I think of um, TV dinners, I mean, that was, I remember whenever my parents would go out, the big thing was we got to choose our own TV dinner. Yeah. Right? That was a big deal. And here's the interesting thing about that. It's like, you know, how far we've come. Um, TVs were a big deal because they were fairly new. And, exactly. and households, not every household had one. Uh, you know, now we have them in every room. But, uh, and so they actually spawned a whole meal, people sitting in front of the TV for the first time. You're right. Eating dinner. You're right. Right, so this is just what, coming back to the 50s, tuna tetrazzini, <laughs> I mean really, and green peas and carrots and a cherry um, crunch. Yeah. You can make it all ahead of time. I have it all, keep because it all Because that's boiled. what you did. This didn't come like this because you know, today you can't, you, you can't put this in the microwave, right? So you literally made these TV dinners. I made those TV dinners and put them in the compartments. Matter of fact, I've got a, a website in my book that tells you how you can get these divided ones, but you could also use the divided paper plates if you wanted to uh, microwave them, yeah. you know? But the nice thing about them like this is you can put a number of them in your oven at the same time. It's a little more them. authentic. It, exactly, and it's more fun. So that's I, a lot of fun. Yeah, but all right, our desserts? You always have, no, this is, as you welcome your guests, this is a spiked oh. chocolate milkshake. Oh, shake. you go ahead on, Mama, oh, yes. Yes, so yes. I, ding dong. <laughs> I already have the ice cream in it, and I'm just going to add a little milk. Okay. Okay. And then I have um, bourbon uh -huh. and Kahlua. Yes. And all we're going to do is just blend this delicacy together. Yeah, yes. I can get it. Look, and if you can't I, blend it, no, I'll still eat I can it. turn it Okay, on. all right. Here we go. There we go. Okay, we're going to blend this up. Get it nice and smooth. Exactly. And so easy to do. And then we're going to put some in this a glass. I'm going to love coming to your house. <laughs> okay, now, of course, you have to top it with a little um, whipped cream. Whipped cream. Mm-hmm. Okay. And your little cherry on top. <laughs> there you go. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's taste that. And that is not your average milkshake. <laughs> that is really, really good. And there's also a creamsicle milkshake in there. Then you can use vodka and orange juice. So you can have kind of a combination. Yes, of yes, I'm loving that. Okay, so this is delicious right here. This is, as she said, as your guests come in the door. And then, of course, there's all your uh, TV dinners and then your um, your snacks and stuff. What's this right this here? This is a clam dip. I just, I mean, I remember my mother making this clam mm. dip all the time when mm -hmm. she was having company. And we also have the, you know, the sour cream and, and onion dip mm -hmm. recipe in there and plus the wrapped um water chestnuts. So just taking yourself back to the 50s. Yeah, and then of course you have to have entertainment. Yes. Um, let me just start with, I'm going to pull her out here. Oh. And if you can see, she actually has on whoops, a poodle 
skirt. <laughs> right, somewhere. All right. Did I put a skirt there? Okay, did you make that yourself? No, I had it made. Okay. I wish uh, I could say I made I'm it. Just, but I I'm just seeing a box of cotton balls that you use here. Okay, I'm right, moving on back here. But also having the games, you can have a chewing gum contest. Right? Absolutely. Okay, so who can make the biggest bubble? And we'll work on that. But the other thing is, I know you shouldn't talk on TV with gum in your mouth, but okay. Um, the whole hoop contest. Actually, you and I are both saying that we used to do this as a kid and we were really good at it. We can't do it anymore. <laughs> we tried. All right. So, ladies, put your hula hoops on. Oh, you just got to put it around your... Oh. <laughs> I think they worked on this. And then finally, Lynn, the other thing that takes us back to a time period... Oh, that's good. Is, yeah, she's good. She's very yeah. good. The other thing that takes us back to a time period is music. Okay, so play a name that tune contest, right? That's okay. always fun. Here we go. Y'all right. know what that is? That is Johnny Be Good. Johnny Be Good, okay? Alright. Next song. You shake my nerves, Johnny Be Good. We know this one. Can you say it on TV though? Okay. Here, what's our next one? Before you break my heart. Okay, problem is, I think that's 1965 instead of 1950s, but that will bring you back for a Motown party. Exactly. Yeah, there it'll you be a go. Motown party there next time. Go.